Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we're going to talk to you guys about the Saudi Arabia League guys. So there's been a lot of transfers going on this summer with the Saudi League. And some of you guys are probably wondering, myself included, can the Saudi League actually challenge Europe? And today we're going to be discussing to you guys my thoughts upon this. So please remember guys to hit that like button guys. I want to see those likes hit up. I feel like I haven't really been getting a lot of likes on my videos, so please reach it. Today's like target is 20 likes. Let's try to get it 20 likes, guys. And remember, guys, to also subscribe to the channel if you're new out here, guys, as we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, let's start with the topic. Now, with the Saudi League, look at the players they have bought this summer. Many of their players are past their prime. Majority of the players are not at their prime anymore. Cristiano Ronaldo... Karim Benzema, and Gola Kante, they're not at their prime. They're not. Namor Jr. And that's my thing with the Saudi League is that, yes, you can buy all the best players you want. But if you don't, if you um, think it's going to be successful long term, it isn't. It's going to be great in the short term. You're going to get a lot of success. And here's the thing with the Saudi League is that the big clubs are spending the money. Al Hilal is making the money. Al Nasser is making the money. And, um, you know, these two clubs in particular. You know, Al Etihad as well. The clubs like Al Evetik, I think that's one of the names, and some other Saudi Arabia clubs in the mid table, they're not really making those big kind of signings. You know, and that's my thing with the Saudi league is that you can buy all the best players you want, but is it going to amount to anything special? Because, like I said, guys, before, guys, the Chinese Super League, we just had um, that also happened, uh, you know, a decade ago, and a lot of the players that went there, like Oscar, um, you know, um, didn't really amount to anything special, you know. And my thing with the Saudi Arabia League is that you have to buy young talent to compete with Europe. You have to buy young talent because the thing with the European leagues is that the Saudi leagues will never have is the European young players. Look at the European leagues, some of the best European leagues. Okay, you have La Liga, for instance. You have Pedri, Bellingham, and Gavi. EPL, you have Foden, and you have Julian Alvarez, Erling Holland. Ligue 1, you have Kylian Mbappe. There are a lot of young players in the world that these they make those leagues look very, very good. For the Saudi League, there isn't really anyone that special, that young, that have nurtured. Okay? And that's my thing, is that the Saudi League doesn't have that kind of thing. And let's be real, guys. Many people still want to play in Europe, because Europe is the best where you can have the most ambition and most pride. The Saudi League doesn't have that kind of pride. You won't have that ambition to compete. You know? And let's be real, guys. The Saudi League has the money. The European League also has the money, too. But the thing is, the Saudi League doesn't have the infrastructure. Infrastructure doesn't have um, the competition, competitive levels like the, you know, the European leagues. You know? And that's my thing is that with the Saudi League is that you have to buy young town, as I said. You know? And you look at MLS. A lot of people like to crap on MLS saying it's a bad league and everything, which I don't think it's a great league, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think it's as good as people make it out to be. But one thing I will say MLS has that over the Saudi League has is that MLS at least is more competitive. At least we see a wide variety of teams compete for the title. In the Saudi League, it's usually just Al Nasser and Al Hilal. Usually Al Hilal wins the most of the time, you know? And it's just ridiculous to me that people are trying to bring the competitive aspect. Because like I said before, guys, MLS defensively is garbage. Like, defenses and MLS is horrendous. Most of the defense and MLS are terrible. I will give you that. I will say that right now. And the Saudi League probably does have the better players compared to MLS. But the thing is, MLS, you at least have some young talent. Al Marion came out this league. Alfonso Davis came out this league. So you have to put things in perspective here that the Saudi League doesn't have those kind of young players that came out the league as those as MLS did. So, like I said before, guys, with the Saudi League, is that you have to keep investing. You have to keep investing in reshuffling because they can't just do this one summer and then not spend the next couple of summers because, like I said, a lot of the players are past their prime. You're going to have to naturally replace them. You know, some of these players are only going to play in Saudi League for a few years and then they're going to retire. Look at, um, for instance, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo is going to probably retire after the World Cup 2026. I don't think he's going to stay after the World Cup 2026. Karim Benzema, you know. And the thing is, like, a lot of these players, they're tempted by the money. And like I said before, guys, I can understand money. Money is a very fair enough reason why you want to move, you know. And like I said, many of us, if we were professional footballers and we, had the ch we, were, we were given the option of getting that kind of money, of course, we would take it. But we have to put things in perspective is that 
it depends on your context. I would probably go for the money once I'm like, once I'm practically done with my career. If I still have more to achieve as a youngster, I'm not going to go for the Saudi League because I still have more to achieve in Europe. I still want to win the UEFA Champions League. I still want to win my league title. I still want to establish that dominance, you know, win a treble, maybe win back to back, you know, etc. Whereas the Saudi League, like I said, AFC Champions League isn't on the same level as the UEFA Champions League. It just isn't. So, like I said before, guys, with the Saudi League, I, I respect what it's doing. I think it's incredible that they're making the business that they are. And EPL fans are going very, very annoyed with this. And they're basically hypocrites because they also do the same thing too. They also take the best players from other leagues and make no big deal of it. And once EP, once the Saudi League is actually doing it, people are making a big deal of it. So, have the same, have the same agenda, guys. Like, you have to be same here. You can't just be, um, you can't just filter out for what you don't like. You have to be fair here, right? And that's saying the Saudi League is actually doing this. So, like I said before, guys, it's going to be very interesting to see the Saudi League. Can it actually be one of the best leagues in the world? I personally don't think it will be. I think the league will be, die down in probably like two or three years. I don't think the league is sustainable enough. I think it's just only a short-term success. And like I said before, guys, I think they're just doing this to get more people to watch their league, to increase you know, their market share, increase their revenue, increase the sales. But as I said, this doesn't really have anything to do with the national team. I don't think this has any correlation with the national team. And of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, man, he has a huge impact on this because a lot of players are joining the league. But it's not down to single-handedly down to him. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. If you made it this far, guys, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you guys think the Saudi League can actually be one of the best leagues in the world? And also, maybe we might have a debate show on this topic. If you guys want a debate show, please let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll put this on the poll for when we do our September a debate show so um this could be a very interesting conversation to have here so i hope you guys did enjoy remember guys like and subscribe also check out me my other pops in the description below and yeah become a member of the channel to get access to members videos and member streams which of course happens on a weekend basis and of course if there's any major talking points in the comments below please let me know i'm sure there probably is and yeah like i said guys hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys there peace out